Hi gorgeous, what is up? It's been a while since I've sat in my chair and I am so excited. Today we are going to be deep diving into the Impress Falsy Press On Lashes and I'm so excited. So let's get down to it. But before we do, I wanted to mention Rejuvalift 4D. This is for you if you have been thinking about Botox going under that needle i'm seeing fine lines i'm seeing wrinkles i'm seeing like my under eyes are just looking like freaking bags don't go under the needle just yet i need you to listen i've been using rejuvalift now for almost a month and i have absolutely noticed a difference let me tell you what this does you put it on in the places that you feel need a little extra help so i definitely hit my forehead area and i put in places where normally you would start to see your skin maybe lose its elasticity, fine lines. So I hit the sides of my eyes here. I hit my smile lines. And the leftovers that was on my fingers, I rubbed up on my neck and uh, decolletage area. And once you rub that in your skin, like I put on a pretty thick layer, you let it sit. You let it sit for four minutes. And you can feel your skin tightening. It's amazing. You can feel it. Now you're supposed to sit still. Like when I say I let it sit for four minutes, I did it at nighttime. So that way I wasn't eating. I wasn't talking. I wasn't laughing. Like I'm in my bed like this. Literally straight faced for four minutes. And not to mention Rejuvalift is the only Dr. Back skincare brand that is offering one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with a cosmetic chemist. So you actually get the most out of your skincare journey with Rejuvalift. And I think that's absolutely amazing that they don't just hand you the bottle and go, well, good luck. You get coaching sessions to talk you through, to see how you're doing with it, to see if you like it. That's really important to me when it comes to my skin because this is the only set of skin that I get. So it does need to be well taken care of. They reached out to me and made sure that I was doing well with the products. They gave me tips and tricks on how to get the most out of using the Rejuvalift 4D. And let me tell you, my skin looks so much more hydrated glowy dewy it looks younger like ref like it had a refresh and i could not be happier with this product to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles and have my skin look the way it does i just turned 31 i'm gonna let you know i am, have been like really concerned about my skin and the aging process and i'm not saying 31 is old but i'm saying like obviously i'm getting older so <laughs> Rejuvalift came in clutch, okay? I will have it listed down below, linked down below for you. Click it, check it out, purchase some before you go under that needle, before you start injecting things in your skin, okay? Promise me you will try this first. You will be glad and you will come back and thank me. Now, let's put on some falsies. Okay, so I have the whole box here. We have three different sets. I think one's natural, voluminous, spiky. I'm gonna go with natural today. Um, have I tried these falsy impress lashes before? No. Are we gonna try it today? First time ever? Absolutely, on camera. We're gonna see how this works. The attention catcher with these lashes is you don't need any glue. You just pop them on and you can go. They last 24 hours, though I did see that somebody was said they were on like day three of wearing them. So I'm sure it's like a trial and error and how rough you are on your lashes. You know, I'm, it's different for everybody, I'm sure. But let's just go in. I'm going to pull out the naturals. I do, after reading some and looking at prices and seeing what the deal is with these lashes, I have some thoughts. But I also know that <laughs> our attention span lately is you know, like a goldfish. So if you make it to the end, I'll share some final thoughts, but let's rip right into this and I'm gonna see how easy this actually is. This is a close up of the lashes that we're using. Nice, natural, kind of wispy looking. A little everyday, but extra oomph to the lashes type of look. Also, if my makeup looks a little messed up, it's because it is because I had a little tan going and then it started to peel. So if you've ever tried to put on a base with peeling skin, not fun. Not fun at all. Okay. Thought about trashing the whole look about 50 times. Okay. This is what she looks like. So I'm still learning this camera. 
I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> That's better. This is what the package looks like. Literally no glue or nothing underneath. No hidden secrets. Pull it off and this is what we have. This is really exciting. Like a whole new way. And I'm also very late to the game on this one. So, okay. So our bottom row here. These look a bit longer than these here. And the good thing about clusters is you can mix and match. So you could use these natural ones combined with spiky, combined with voluminous. I mean, whatever you want to do. But we're going to go all natural today. We're just going to pull and go. And these go underneath your lashes. So... Don't forget when doing stuff like this, you can always use, these applicators are made so you can use the end of them too. And press. Easy enough. By the by, this was sent to me in PR. And I love Kiss, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna say everything is great. And I appreciate them sending it to me. Okay, yeah, that's super easy. Like, anybody can do this. Wow. Okay, so that's three bands. Took no time at all. Now I'm gonna go up to this, the top layer, the top row right here. And they're a little bit shorter, so we'll close out the eye with some that are shorter they come off super easy like there's no like you could rip the lashes plus kiss they do have really good quality products so you can be that's how you know a lash is a good lash if you can be rough with it and it doesn't break you got yourself a good lash Good. Okay, so you do have to be careful with your applicator, your lash applicator, because it will, like the adhesive that's already on there, will kind of get stuck to your applicator. And then if you pull too hard or too quickly, you've just pulled off your lash cluster. So, which is what just happened with me. It was an easy fix once I got a hold of the lashes, but that's just something to be aware of. Be careful when you're pulling off that applicator. That actually does look really, really good. Very pretty. Nice and wispy. And it was quick to put on, for sure. Quick and easy. Now, let's knock out the other eye. That's how many it took for the one eye. I used five clusters. Oops, see? It gets stuck on the applicator. stuck to each other you see what I mean if you accidentally pull too quickly and it's got a hold of the other one I'm kind of closing my eye on it to make sure that it's on there and it's like sealed Nice, really pretty. 
There was a couple of little, do you see? I'm not sure how well you can see it, but those little white spots, those are like little clumps of glue. And putting this on, putting these on, they have kind of gotten in the way, if you will. So like if your applicator hits that, you have to be careful, like take your finger and then pull off because those lashes of glue will, or those little clumps of glue will catch your applicator and then pull off what you've spent a lot of time putting together. Um, overall, you do have to do a little finagling to get them on and have them stay on correctly and watch your applicator as, you, as you're moving about the lash line. Do they look gorgeous? Absolutely. I'm ready to, to go out in these. These are so pretty. Now, after messing with them, would I say super easy to apply? No. I would say if you're not patient, you could get frustrated. Just You just have to know how to finagle it. You gotta work with them and then they'll work with you. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. You have to work with them and they'll work with you back. Give a little, get a little. Now, let me put on mascara on my bottom lashes and we will do some final thoughts. I love a good Red Bull moment. I know they're not the best for you, but they're so delish. Okay, so final thoughts on the Impress Foss lashes. Let's see, because I, I do have some thoughts on them. Listen, these sets of lashes are, from what I saw online, 15 to $18 a pack, from what I saw, just depending on where you purchase it from. Uh, that's a lot for these to last a day. Now, like I said before, I did see someone say, you know, I'm on day three with wearing these, and that's great. I'm sure it's different for everybody that puts them on, but let's say they're, you purchased them from the KISS website and they're $14.99 a piece. We're just gonna say 15 even for easy math. If you wear these every day you go to work and you work five days a week, 15 times five, we've got 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 dollars. If you do that every week, there's four weeks in a month and we're looking at 300 dollars. Now that's just saying if you did do that every single day, if you're like, this is the new way I'm gonna do lashes, it's quick, it's easy, I can pop them on and I look great. We do look great, but that's 300 dollars a month if you stick with doing it five days a week, four weeks, you know, in a month. And then if you did that for all 12 months in a year, then you're looking at $3,600 a year. So, and, and that's just theor theoretically saying if you did that in the way that I just said, five days a week, every day you went to work, you get a new set for every single day because apparently these only last 24 hours, like, that's where my head goes to. So between these press-ons and the falsqueras, which can last up to 10 days with the bond and seal, this is gonna be more cost, cost efficient than this. And actually looking at this package, uh, I used 10 clusters total and there's 10 more in here. So my math is not quite right. You can get two days out of this if you did a new set every single day. So it's not that expensive, like $3,600 a year, but it's still up there. I guess you would cut that in half and it would be $1,800 a year, but I mean, that's still a lot. So I do apologize. You can get two fresh sets out of one pack. So that's not horrible, but still if you're using it every day, Anyway, never mind. You know what I mean. I don't know. I feel like these would be good for those just random times. Oh my gosh, I have a dinner date tonight and I didn't have time to go get my lash extensions or I don't have time to do the bond and seal, which the Foscaras don't take long either. I love the Foscaras. But if like something random came up and you were like, I just, I just need to press and go like you would with press on nails. Like I just need to look good for the time being and this is not permanent. Like I think that's where this would come into play. Like prom or, you know, a random dinner date. Like just something like that. I don't know why, like maybe I'm just rambling now, but that's where my mind went to. Like, does somebody do this every single day with a new set every single day? Cause that's a lot of money. 
Now they are beautiful. But I was just thinking financially, I don't think this is the best way to go if you're looking for an everyday solution to not wearing mascara. And I love that you close your eyes and there's no band. It just looks like your lashes. So those are my final thoughts of uh, on them. Would I purchase these? Sure, for instances like I just mentioned before. Um, but yeah, those are my final thoughts. It was fun to put on. They do look gorgeous. Don't forget to check out the Rejuvalift 4D if you are concerned about your skin and some little fine lines, little wrinkles. This is gonna help. We love that. Thank you so, so much for watching and thank you to Kiss and I will be seeing you in the next video. Let me know what you think of this new camera. Bye.